Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is June the 2nd, 2021. And before we jump into things, why don't you hit that like button to help me out? It really will get my videos shown to more people and hopefully, you know, get that algorithm to share my content more. I have some links in my description. One is a Patreon link with a variety of tiers, and one of those tiers may be right for you, so please check that out. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using that link, I actually get a small bonus from that, and it really helps support the channel. Here are my lovely patrons. Thank you all so much for your support. It really means a lot and helps me create content every single day. Let's jump into these movers, starting to list off here with Phyrexian Arena from Conspiracy Take the Crown. This is a reprint of the card, down 5.34% from 2511 to $23.77. Gisela Blade of Gold Knight. This is the secret layer version of the card we just recently got. It's down 10.12% from 11.86 to 10.66. Okay, now it's time we take a look at today's biggest winners. And we're going to start that list off here with Mishra's Factory. This is the summer version with the art from Antiquities. Original printing up 6.74% from 132.46 to 141.39. Now this does see a lot of play in decks like Legacy, Death and Taxes, and also Ravager Shops. And remember, this has also been disclosed, the print run of this particular card. There's only 31,000 copies from the original art ever printed. Next up is another Four Horsemen set card. It's Hammerheim from Legends. This card is up 8.35% from 12.10 to 13.11. Now this card actually does see a bit of play in Commander across a few decks that I found. One is a Morphin, the Boundless deck, and we also have an Aurelia, the Warleader deck. Now this card's print run information was disclosed because it's from Legends and there's only 116,000 copies of this original card printed. Next up we have is As Foretold. This is a mythic from Amonkhet that's been on our list quite a lot in the last few weeks. It's up 8.69% from 2832 to $30.78. Now this card is seeing a lot of play right now across a variety of formats, but the format that's really driving this price up the most is Electro Balance decks in Modern with 10 registered copies on MTG Goldfish at the moment. Next up we have is Phyrexian Arena. This is the 9th edition version of the card. Yes, we did have a loser from Conspiracy, but this version of the card for some reason is up 9.43% from 1411 to 1544. Now this card does see a lot of play in Commander right now, especially in those Edgar Markov decks with 27 registered copies, but it also sees play in Turgrid God of Fright, which is a card we got recently in Kaldheim. Next card we have on the list is Nut Collector from Odyssey. This is another squirrel card that's great because of all those Modern Horizons 2 reprints. You know, it's getting a lot of people interested in building squirrel EDH decks. And this card is up again today, 10.53% from 39.21 to 43.34. And it does see a lot of play right now in those Toski Bear of Secrets decks. And that is a card that we got recently as well in Kaldheim. Next up is Spirit Link from Legends, a card from a four Horseman set. This card is up 13.94% from 1672 to 1905. This card actually does see a little bit of play in Commander, especially Zer the Enchanter decks, and also Sigarda, Host of Herons. Now, the print run was disclosed for this particular card from Legends, and there's only 57,900 copies of this card printed. Next up is Shardless Agent from Plane Chase 2012. This card is up 25.23% from 539 to 675. Now this card is being reprinted in Modern Horizons 2, and the reason why it's actually going up is because it's going to be introduced into the modern format, so people are thinking about potential brews for this card. Now it's seeing play right now in Commander, especially Averna the Chaos Bloom and also Maelstrom Wanderer decks. And the next mover we have on the list is Ancestral Vision. Yes, this is the reprint from Time Spiral Remastered. It's up 36.21% from 671 to 914. Now this card is being pushed up mostly by the modern format, but it sees play in Commander as well. The deck that really is pushing this price point up the most, however, is actually Electro Balance decks in Modern, and that's one of the decks to beat currently at the moment. Next up is another card from a Four Horsemen set, and that's Hell's Caretaker. This is the original printing from Legends, up 36.69% from 32.13 to 43.92. It is seeing a bit of play in Commander, especially Marin of the Clan, Nell Toth, and also Shiri Shizo's Caretaker decks. Its print run was actually disclosed, and there's only 19,300 copies of this card ever printed, and it's a rare from Legends. 
Next up we have is Frenetic Afrit from Mirage, our first and only reserve list card on the list today. It's up 51.92% from 2240 to 3403. Now we are getting Afrit's in Modern Horizons that could be actually driving the price point up as people are looking to brew decks. It does see play though in a few decks in Commander, especially a Seeker God of the Tree decks and also Okan Eye of Chaos decks. Now it's time we take a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we're going to start that list off here with Scourge of the Throne from Conspiracy. This mythic is up 43.29% from 74.59 to 106.88. We have False Cure from Onslaught. This is a rare old border foil up 52.61% from 16.29 to 24.86. Concerted Effort from Ravnica. This rare foil is up 54.36% from 1972 to 30.44. Yomiji, who bars the way from Atreus of Kamigawa. It's up 78.92% from 721 to 12.90. Artificial Evolution, a rare old border foil from Onslaught, up 106% from 1991 to 41.10. Another old border foil, Beloved Chaplain, up 131% from 431 to $10. We've got Divine Sacrament, a rare old border foil from Odyssey, up 137% from 1686 to $40. Sand Squid, another rare old border foil, but from Mercadian Mass, up 171% from 278 to 756 and the next card we have is Mirrorweave from Shadowmore. This rare is up 203% from 339 to 1030. Next up we have Avatar of Hope from Prophecy. This is a rare old border foil up 557% from 259 to 1702. Okay, thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my market movers. It really means the world to me. And let me know what your favorite mover of the day was down in the comment section. I'll be sure to read that. I do make these videos from Monday to Friday and I occasionally put out a weekend winners on Sunday. So please stay tuned tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering market movers. And with that being said, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.